there was a, a person that made a comment on one of my posts the other day, and they were talking about security guards engaging active shooters. And I don't know where this gentleman's located, and everybody is entitled to their own opinion, but he specifically said there's no situation where a security guard is going to have to engage an active shooter. You're going to call the cops, you're going to be in an observe and report situation, and you're going to wait for those cops to arrive. And guys, I'm telling you, here in Portland, that is specifically not true, and that is not the case. You are more likely to be that first responder on the scene dealing with that situation if you choose to engage well before the police are able to show up. Now, this is a moral and a legal and a policy conversation that you have to have with yourself, with your supervisor, and with your family. I am not here to tell you to engage an active shooter or tell you not to engage an active shooter. What I am doing is trying to open that conversation, showing you guys, we're gonna walk around this building, showing you guys the sheer extent of the size of the location that we're in right now. If I had to take down an active shooter right now with less than 10 people in this building, I don't know if I would be able to accomplish that safely. Now, if you take that and you multiply it by the number of people in an active store, everything changed. Guys, three weeks ago, seeing the video of that shooting at the store that I work at, I am telling you, the amount of people crossing in front of and through that shooting area, that active area, it gave me, it gave me goosebumps and chills, guys, because I'm thinking about the potential of what I would be trying to do versus what might be the outcome of having so many people, innocent people in that area.